Bed Wars, Sky Wars, Duels, Roblox. Oh yeah, uh, uh, I, I didn't mean to uh, put that in there. Uh, subscribe and like, I'm desperate. PvP is the number one popular aspect of Minecraft. At least 85% of players are centered around it, which is why these PvP game modes are really popular. With that said, it also means you need a great gaming mouse for PvP, and a lot of people don't have the best budget for that, which is why in this video, I'm going to be showing you the best budget gaming mice under $50 for Minecraft PvP. This video is a simple guide to give you an idea, but I highly encourage you to do your own research about these mice before buying so you have a good understanding of what you're receiving it would mean the world to me if you can subscribe and like it really helps this channel and come join my discord for a friendly community if you're in need of a desk flexispot presents us with an elegant style desk This desk is fabulous for working and even gaming because it's super spacious, allowing you to do freely anything with it. The quality on the other hand is amazing. It's a full bamboo countertop, being steady, strong, and sustainable at the same time. It's not just any desk. The best part of it is the entire keypad and the functions that go along with it. Look at this LED beauty. You can press the up arrow button. This will elevate the desk high. whereas the down arrow will bring it low. It's both a standing desk and even a normal desk. You can use the memory preset to remember your sitting height and your standing height, which is super convenient and productive at the same time. For example, I want to remember my sitting height, so I'll click on M and the sitting button, and boom, whenever I click on the sitting button, it'll remember the exact height. If something is in the desk's way, it'll detect and stop right away, so it's super safe technology. It's super comfy and adds a stylish look to your home. I would highly recommend this to anyone. Use the link in the description below to get $15 off on every FlexiSpot product and feel free to check the desk out below as well. If you're planning to buy a gaming mouse for PvP, I highly recommend you to not go with cheap gaming brands as going with genuine brands like Razer, Glorious, Logitech will do much better in the long run. The first mouse I would like to cover costing at $28 is the SteelSeries Rival 3. For $28, this mouse can butterfly click, jitter click, and even double click. So I am sure this mouse fits the PvP criteria quite easily in a very good budget. The switches are very loose, meaning it's easy to click on. It kind of resembles the shape of the G Pro Wireless, which is a high-end gaming mouse. The SteelSeries Rival 3 weighs around 77 grams, which is considered light, but I wouldn't worry too much about it as mouse weight shouldn't be taken seriously in Minecraft. There are a ton of videos of people butterfly clicking and jitter clicking on the Rival 3, but I would highly recommend it for $28. The second mouse for PvP is the Razer Death Adder Essential. If you didn't know, the Death Adder Essential is the same thing as the 2013 Death Adder. This mouse was really famous in the old PvP days during Kohi. Until this day, a lot of people still use it for duels like Combo, No Debuff, and Hypixel PvP as well. For $30, the switches are super easy to click on, requiring no pressure, which means jitter clicking and butterfly clicking is very simple to do on the Death Adder. The shape is a bit large, so if you have small hands, this won't be that great for you. You're given a lot of clicking space on the Razer Death Adder considering that it's wide. You can find a lot of videos of people using the Death Adder for PvP as it's such a solid gaming mouse. For $30, it's a very, very good gaming mouse and I would highly recommend it for PvP. third mouse that I'd like to cover is the Razer Viper Mini. I wouldn't consider it as a budget mouse, but I would call it a mid-range gaming mouse because it costs $40. The shape along with the build quality of the Razer Viper Mini is really good and it's very easy to click on. The Razer Viper Ultra Weight is just a larger version of the Razer Viper Mini. The Viper Mini fits small to medium hands perfectly, but I wouldn't recommend this mouse for large hand users. This mouse is not good at butterfly clicking because the switches are optical meaning no double clicks. Jitter clicking is the only solid clicking method on the Razer Viper Mini. With that aside, it's one of the best mice for PvP right now. And for $40, you can't go wrong with this mouse. During the time of recording this video, it's actually on sale right now. So if you're considering to get it right now, it's the best chance to go for it.
The fourth mouse I'd like to cover is the Rukka Kane 100. It's not only a dry clicking mouse, but it's also great for PvP. Currently, there's a lot of demand for it, but if you can get one at $30, which is the original price, that is an amazing deal. The Rukka Kane 100 has very light clicks, meaning it's easy to jitter on, and the double clicks make butterfly clicking super good. For my personal use, I always get 20 CPS when I'm butterfly clicking, which is why I think this mouse needs a lot more recognition for PvP. The shape of the Kane 100 is a bit narrow so large hand users could possibly have trouble with it. Overall, the Kane 100 is a perfect gaming mouse and for $30 it is considered as a great option for many people. I've made a review on it and Intel Edits has covered it for PvP as well. The fifth mouse I'd like to cover is the Logitech G203. It costs $40, but during the time of this video, it's on sale for $27, which is an absolutely amazing deal. The G203 has the same shape as the G Pro Hero. You're given a lot of wide space, making butterfly clicking and jitter clicking very simple on this mouse. And for $40, I would highly recommend it for PvP. The sixth option of this video is the Red Dragon M711 Cobra. This mouse is the most cheapest mouse on the list, coming at $20. For my personal use with this mouse, it's decent for butterfly clicking and jitter, but the clicks are a bit hard in my opinion. It's also the heaviest mouse on the list, weighing 205 grams, but again, weight is optional. If you like heavier mice, then the M711 is perfect. You're given plenty of space to click on, which is super convenient for clicking methods like jitter and butterfly clicking. I would only recommend this mouse if you're on a very, very tight budget of $20. If you can, try saving up a little bit more for something better on this list. I've made a lot of videos about this mouse which I will link in the description below. The seventh mouse I'd like to cover is the Cooler Master MM710, costing $42. This mouse is like another version of the Glorious Model O, and it's even more lighter than the Glorious Model O itself. MM710 weighs 53 grams, which is incredibly light, and the lightest mouse on this list. For $42, it can butterfly very well because of the double clicks, and it's also an amazing mouse for jitter clicking as well. It's a small mouse, so medium to small hand hands will fit comfortably on it. For $42, I think it's an underrated mouse and deserves a lot more recognition for PvP in its affordable price range. I hope this video gave you an idea of which budget gaming mouse you desire for PvP. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and like, helps the channel out a lot. Other than that guys, I hope you have an amazing day.